pretty cool little utility I came across. It's a VSC view, which I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's Valve Steam Controller view, but it's a um, on-screen controller display, which is pretty cool. Just to show you that we got everything in here. The triggers will show you a little bar. So, uh, take that off. Full trigger shows you the click. Bump, bump. Yeah, it's um pretty neat even down there on the bottom. You can see we got our gyro. It's a pretty cool little thing here. I mean, that's one of my great frustrations is trying to do Steam Controller videos and showing the controller. Like, I usually show my controller green screened, which looks pretty good, but I, I will completely admit that, that it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's a lot of frustration getting it to look good and just a lot of setup time to get my lights figured out and get everything configured the way it needs to be. This, though, I can just pop this in here and boom. I mean, I could, uh, if I wanted to go crazy, I could even create a skin for it to look like my controller. But still, I mean, this is a really cool little program that you can use, you know, if you just want to hop on Twitch and stream some and show the controller. It, I, it's, I love that. <laughs> this is really cool looking. I'm just staring over at my OBS screen to look at it. So anyways, that's what it is. If you're curious, I will have links in the description, and let's get out of game and do, yeah, let's do a little tutorial. Show how to set it up, how to use it. Let's go through the whole thing. Yeah, da -da -da. So, all right, go to the link. I'll put it in the description. I mean, you can see he's already, he's updating it, which is awesome. You just download, I download the zip. Get rid of that. Hey, Wally. Open her up. Open up VSC View EXE. And that gives you this. Or actually, it's not going to look like that at first. You'll have to... We can go no gyro. So you give it the theme. Choose the controller. I, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I had to go with the second one. Like if I do this, it's not registering. Go to this. That's fine. So you want to go to window capture. Add window capture in and then select the VSC view exe window. And then from there you'll want to go to filters and just add a color key. And then I did green, I think, I think that, well, yeah, we can just do there. Yeah, the default had a lot of noise on it. I had to, you know, play around with those a little bit. And I'm sure through further tweaking, I could get it better or try a different color. Like right there, it's kind of getting the, taking out the A, but uh, eh, wasn't too, big of a deal for me. Just as a quick and dirty little little thing there on how to get it in though. I mean that's pretty simple and it looks pretty good. I mean I would maybe like it to be a little bit more compact like having maybe having the trigger stuff under in, you know in that space just to just to ease up how much space it takes but that's <laughs> that's just being critical it is still a really cool little utility and I thank him immensely for making it and you know if you just want to make some quick content and not fuss with the webcam which is a huge pain in the ass this makes it a lot easier <laughs> yeah that's that's a really cool little thing I dig it. So, all right, that's pretty much all I got. I just wanted to show that off. I'm sure. I'm sure there are other folks who will have, you know, have an interest in this and be able to use it. 
I'm pretty excited about it. So, all right, I will see you around. <laughs>